action is going to be taken. But we're going to shift focus now back to the presidential polls, which are going to take place on 19th of this month. Well, uh, Prakash, Jav uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, Prakash Ambedkar has tweeted, and I quote him, I'm requesting Mr. Yeshwan Sinha to withdraw from the presidential race because many scheduled castes and scheduled tribe members across parties are joining to vote in favour of Madam Draupadi Murbu. That's going to be limited. And that is, uh, even as you have a break in the opposition unity when it comes to the presidential elections. Remember, uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy's party, then there's Chandra Babu Naidu TDP, then of course uh, JMM, which is an ally of the Congress party in Jharkhand. All of them have decided, not just that, Shiv Sena too, all of them have decided to vote and support Draupadi Murmu, who happens to be the government's or the BJP's candidate for Rashtrapati post. Let me go across to Maria. Maria, I have my doubt if Yashwan Sinha is actually going to withdraw from the race. But clearly, this is just going to make it look like political parties like the Congress and the Srinamul Congress are not supporting someone who is actually emerged from the grassroots. Yes, that's right. I think uh, the concerns being raised by likes of uh, Prakash Ambedkar um, and uh, Ambedkar and others is that uh, should politicians be on the wrong side of the history because India will be getting its first woman tribal president. Yes, first tribal president and the second woman president on 21st. So uh, with the numbers clearly overwhelmingly uh, Pallavi stacked in favor of the NDA, it is going to be a smooth sail for Draupadi Murmu. Um, Yashwan Sinha's uh, fight is more of uh, tokenism, a uh, symbolism that the opposition always puts up a candidate uh, because they also want to showcase their numbers. But we have seen breaking of ranks that has happened also. Uh, we have seen how Shiva Sena has broken ranks with other allies of the Mahavikas Agadi. Uh, there is also uh, Jharkhan Mukti Morcha, the only tribal party of India which has come out in support of Draupadi Murmu. And hence, that is the reason why the tweet by uh, Prakash uh, Ambedkar becomes interesting, rather, in which he has asked the Yashwan Sinha to withdraw. Uh, you know, Pallavi, interesting parallels are being drawn between Ramnath Kovind and also, uh, you know, Meera Kumar's fight, and now that is happening between Yashwan hmm. Sinha and Draupadi Murmu. Uh, Draupadi Murmu and, uh, uh, you know, Ramnath Kovind, both of them come from humble background. They have risen in the ranks. Uh, they were seen as dark horses, completely uh, not those who are entitled or have a background. These are uh, representatives of ordinary Indians and perhaps symbolic of that hope that anybody can rise to the top constitutional office in the country. Yes, yeah, absolutely right. But it's going to be nonetheless a very, very interesting election, though the results are almost foregrown. But it is also going to change the entire gambit of political equations. Many thanks, Maria, for putting that into perspective. There's 